Okay, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create Let's Play videos using the Ava Media LGP Lite to kind of make videos a little bit like this. Hi, this video is for anyone who's new both to Call of Duty and Advanced Warfare on the 360 or any other platform as well. So what we're going to be using today is we're going to be using the LGP Lite um, from Ava Media. <laughs> well, Alva, Ava Media. There's the box. There's the actual thing itself. And um, if you haven't read, um, watched my review, you can you know you can check that out. I'll put a link down in the box below. But basically, this is a HDMI capture device that sits in between your kind of your your console and your TV, and it kind of intercepts a signal, feeds it to your computer, so you can record that footage and then edit it, edit it and create you know two tutorials, let's play videos, all that sort of stuff. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a, a basic let's play video. We're going to be recording the video itself, and we're going to be recording our voices as well. And I'm going to be using this this here, which is the Zoom H1 recorder, which is a great little. A stereo um, separate recorder to record the, my voice to you know as we're doing the video um, and then so on the software side we're going to be using audacity to uh, clean up the software we uh, clean up the audio sorry we're going to be using the levelator which is a great program for kind of boosting the audio and making it making it louder and then we're going to be editing it on adobe uh, premiere pro now, Audacity and Levelator are free, and remember, you could substitute the Zoom H1. You don't have to use this as a separate voice recorder. You could use your phone. Um, lots of fun, you know, for Android or iOS, there's voice recording apps where you can talk, record stuff. You could use the microphone on your laptop. Um, there's, there's options there. And as far as uh, Windows uh, Premiere Pro goes, you know, instead you could use something like Windows Movie Maker as well, which is free software that you could use to to kind of sync the, the sync everything up and do it that way. Um, so don't think that you need to spend a lot of money to do this sort of stuff. And the beauty with the LGP Lite is it is such a fantastic value for money piece of kit. It creates beautiful footage. Um, and again, this is going to be my beginner's guide on how you could use it. Okay, so here we've got the hardware setup for the LGP Lite. Um, you see I've got my laptop there all set up with the, the software uh, ready to go, Recentral. I've got my Zoom H1 ready to record the audio of me speaking. Now, what's really important actually is when you're doing this sort of thing, what you want to do is make sure that your TV uh, is muted and the sound on your laptop is muted as well because the LGP light will be feeding the sound into your laptop so it will be recording the sound from the game um, but you don't want the, the, the sounds from the game to be recorded by your external recorder because it can cause you you get funny echoes and feedback and all sorts of things uh, so make sure your laptop and the TV are muted and um, there's my controller ready to go so there's the LGP light kind of ready to go as you can see we've got the USB lead going into going into the laptop and the, basically the way it works if we come over to my um, Xbox what you can see there uh, this is a 360 but it's same so we've got the HDMI out just there and the HDMI out then comes into the uh, LGP light and then we've got another HD another HDMI which then comes out and then goes into the back of the TV and um, so it's just intercepting that signal, signal, making sure it's uh, it's ready to go. So that, that that's really simple setup, dead easy to do. And as I said in the introduction, you don't have to use something like the Zoom H1. You could use your phone to record the audio or the microphone on your laptop itself. Or you know, and you can also plug a thing straight into the uh, LGP light as well. But I like to record things separately, so I've got a little bit of a little bit more of control. So now let's dive into the software and see what you do next. Okay, so I just wanted to have a quick look at the software. It is incredibly simple to use, um, but when you first fire up, you might be a little bit confused. And the easiest thing to do is click on the wizard. Go into the wizard. This will get your settings up very simple. So, And the wizard is just going to uh, take us through some settings. Um, my standard setting is 12, megabit, 12 megabytes a second at 720p. So in the wizard, all you have to do is say, what's your platform? Well, it's a game console, and there's a nice picture that shows you how you should be setting up. The video source, it's going to be HDMI, 
And as you can see, that's a kind of a preview of what we're going to be getting. Now, we could go and we can change some settings, but you don't really need to. Audio source is really just the HDMI. Um, I want the audio from the game because I'm going to be recording uh, my voice separately on my Zoom H1. But as I say, you could use your phone or something like that. But again, we could use the microphone on the uh, LGP light. Video settings. Um, you can go with TS, go with MP4, whichever you want. doesn't really make that much difference when it comes to editing. Resolution, 720p. Um, no point going any higher for an Xbox 360. Um, PS4s, uh, obviously... Uh, HD and the Xbox One, you might want to go to the to the higher settings, but I find 720p gives you nice acceptable results for YouTube, even at full screen, and the file size isn't too massive. 12 megabits a second, fine for uh, that, and audio bit rate 128 kilobits a second, that's fine as well. And then our frame rate 30 frames a second, and then you can set a hotkey if you like to to get it started. Um, and then what you can do is you can then save this profile, which I have uh, 12 megabits and 720p. And that's it, really. All you really need to do now is hit the record button there or hit the button in the middle of the LGP light and you'll be ready to go. So now what we'll do is we'll actually go into physically looking at what I'm kind of doing when, you know, and what I'm thinking about as I uh, record uh, what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is a little bit of an odd angle, but I kind of wanted to show you kind of what I do when I start off. So you can you can kind of see, sort of see my laptop. I know I'm not really in focus, and you kind of see the bottom of the, the screen. So when you come to uh, start doing a Let's Play video, um, when you're recording with the LGP light, all you've, really, all you've got to do is press that button there, and then it will start recording. And then I'm going to start my Zoom H1, and that's going to start recording my audio. As I said, we've made sure we've muted the sound on my laptop, and on the TV so that doesn't bleed through to the Zoom H1. So what we're going to do is we're going to start this recording and then we're going to start this recording. But as you can imagine, the tricky bit is when you get the software, in, get the uh, video file and get the separate audio file into your uh, processing software, you need to sync them up, don't you, to make them link together. So there's kind of a little trick I do uh, at the beginning um, to, to kind of do that. And I'll kind of, what we'll do is I'll kind of start kind of a, a little fake recording so you can see. So the first thing I do, is I, I start the video recording just by pressing that button there and maybe you'll see you might be able to see can you see it's popped up anyway my Xbox screen is now on my laptop and it is now it, it's now recording um, and then what I'm going to do next is in fact turn it is start my zoom h1 and then I'll just say right audio is recording so I know that's recording just check it definitely is yeah now in order to sync it what I do is you can use the um, you can use the menus um, in uh, Advanced Warfare, for example, to, to as sync points. So all you do is you you get go go to a menu, for example. I use Create a Class, anything apart from Find Match, and then all I do is I say I, I say going into Create a Class now, and then when I say now, I press the button on the Xbox controller to go into that menu, and that gives me a point where with that when I say now where this changes as well to go into the menu that I can then sync them up up, up in um, in post. So I'd say going into creator class now and I press the button and then I'll say coming out of creator class now and I come out of it. And that gives me, me gives me my sync points um, when it comes to recording. And then I would go into the game you know and I would uh, I would record away. Now a, f a few like little tim hints and tips as well. I know this is a bit odd, I've kind of crunched down, is make sure that when you start doing a recording, you don't want your laptop or your computer stressed in any way at all. So you want to shut down all unnecessary programs, Put if you're using a laptop, put it into airport mode so it's not connected to the internet. Um, make sure there's no services running if you know how to do that to stop all those and you just want to be let, letting your uh, laptop concentrate on recording the footage. Um, if you're doing other things at the same time, you could end up with glitches in uh, the, the, the uh, recording, which you can sort out, but can be a little bit of a pain as well. And I would also, you know, don't record for hours on end. You know, record a game or a session, stop, and then record another game and stop. You know, try and record in small chunks, you know, a maximum of one game at a time. Um, and you'll definitely have great success that way. And that's about it, really, for for the kind of the hardware side of things. Um, so what we're going to do now is we'll now dive in and we'll sort of have a look at what you do with the audio file to kind of clear that up and make it 
um, a little bit better and then how you kind of sync it all together. Okay, so here we've got some files from a video I've already done, but we can go through and kind of do them again. We've got my um, capture from my uh, LGP light just here, and then we've got my audio here, which is the Zoom uh, 0001. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open this up in uh, Audacity um, and just kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, I don't know why it came up with that warning, but it's importing it anyway. I haven't had that before. I have just upgraded to Windows 10, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's some problems. So as you can see, if you've used Audacity before, um, you'll recognize this. If you haven't, don't worry. It's very simple. You can download Audacity for free, and there's plenty of tutorials showing you how to do it. And you don't really have to do this stage, but it definitely helps. Because what we're going to do is we're just going to go into Audacity, and then we're going to zoom a little, zoom in a little bit so you can see the waveform. And we're just going to get rid of noise with Audacity. That's all we're going to do. So we're just going to select a little bit of the audio where there's no talking or no noise. And we're just going to go Effect Noise Removal. Get the noise profile. And then we're going to go Edit. Select All. Go back to Effect. Go to Noise re Removal. And then we're going to say OK. Just have all the sliders in the middle. That's all you need to do. Press that and it'll, it'll, uh, it'll get rid of all that noise um, and flatten things out. Now, I don't recommend you do this for things like podcasts or where audio is critical because this does flatten everything out as well. Um, but I think it helps, especially if you've got your uh, voice recorder near a laptop or something that's probably humming away in the, dis in the background. So there we can say we've cleaned up the audio file quite a lot. And then we would now just go File, Export, and you want to export it as a WAV file to uh, to the folder where you just put it. Uh, I know this is a bit of a brief going over with Audacity, but there's plenty of tutorials out there to show how to use it, but that's literally all we're doing with, with Audacity, just cleaning up the file. So let me close that. Um, I don't want to save any changes. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is download the Levelator. So if you just look for, do a Google search for the Levelator 2, um, that will pop up and um, basically it's a program that will take that audio file and boost it where it needs to be boosted to increase the volume and quieten it down where it needs to be quieted down. Again, I wouldn't recommend you use this on podcasts or anything where, where the audio quality is critical, but for video it's fine. So all we we'll do is we just drag the uh, Zoom um, WAV, which we've just exported from Audacity, and you just plonk it on top of the levelator and it will do its business and it will come up with a file where it will add output onto the back of it as you can see I've already I've already done it but it's working its way through and that basically will be all we need to do to the audio because everything else we're going to do um, in post processing um, we're going to do that just in a second so there we go so that's completed let me just close that up and we've got a zoom one wav output which is uh, which is ready to go and audio is ready to go so now we can sync them up and start to actually create our video here we go. So I fired up Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, again, I'm not going to go into detail about actually doing all the physical editing and everything in uh, Premiere Pro. Just kind of show you where to get started. There's plenty of great um, articles out there on using Premiere Pro, or you can use Windows Movie Maker. I just come up, want to show you how to get you started, to get you looking in the right place. So back to our folder, and we've got our uh, capture, which is that one. In fact, let's do that one and. That's our output, our audio. So let's just select both of those, control click that, and then what we can do is we can drag them down into Premiere Pro, put them in the bin, and they will then get imported. There they are. And now we can drag them over onto the timeline, do the video first, and then the audio comes over just like that. Now remember how I was earlier when we were recording the video, what we made sure we did was that um, we made sure that we created like a sync point. Well, what we can do now is we can use that sync point to help us sync up the audio with the uh, audio with, uh, sorry, the video from the capture with the audio from the Zoom H1 or the external. And remember, what we're, what we're looking for is when we go into a menu. So if I move this along here, then when it goes into the menu, which is going to be in just a second, <laughs> he said, sliding everything along. That is going to give me my first uh, sync point. There we go. Let's just go back a little bit. And it would have been there. That's when we go into there. 
there it is. And then what you can do, if you create a cut at that particular point, you can then move your audio, play your audio, and find out with your audio when you say um, uh, going into menu now. And you can then move the audio around so that mic meets that. And then you cut that bit off. And then you get rid of the two beginnings. And that then gives you the beginning of your file. So from that point onwards, all your uh, audio will then line up and it will play perfectly, which is uh, which is really good, isn't it? Um, now, again, I'm going to be exporting at 1080p and only recorded at 720, so you need to scale to frame size to make that go up to size there. And then what you would just do now is you would just go through as normal in Premiere Pro or Movie Maker and just do your normal editing, you know, uh, shortening things up, um, adding things, putting titles on. For example, you know, I have my... Um, my little thing that comes up with my Twitter handle and my name and then that's my standard title so I would then change that to something to do with the video that I was recording um, and then when you want to come to when you finish doing your editing you just go file and then export media and then I like to export at 1080p for YouTube um, so it's uh, full HD and then just pop that in the um, the folder where you, where you first started off and that's it really you're, you're really good to go so that's it really for my beginner's guide to using the lgp lights from avia media as you can see it's incredibly simple in fact the, the the capturing the um capturing the video and the audio is definitely the easy bit the difficult bit is uh, having some really good gameplay to capture in the first place, which I struggle with because I'm not that good. Um, and then, it, you know, it takes a little bit of time to edit it afterwards. But the LGP Lite is such a fantastically easy piece of uh, hardware to use. And the software works so well that as long as you've got a little bit of imagination, you think about what you want to upload, you'll create some great videos that people will really enjoy watching. So that's enough from me. My name's Rob. Um, if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments down below. And um, hopefully I'll see you again soon.